now that we've got everything assembled for the Ares X10 and the transmitter, let's look at powering it all, it all up and getting the compass calibrated. So the first thing we want to do is turn on the transmitter. So I slide it to the on position, the red light will come on and the green video light will blink, indicating that it is powered on and paired. Now I'm going to turn on the Ares X10. It will beep and the LE rear indicator light will blink quickly. That indicates that a pairing has been established between the controller or the transmitter and the Ares X10. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on the Wi-Fi repeater. The green light will come on and after a moment the blue light will come on and then continue to blink. Now to calibrate the compass, I want to make sure that my sticks S1 and S2 are in the OK position and my stick 4 is in the GPS position. The first thing you need to do is take your control stick and give it the command that you're ready to calibrate the compass. So with everything powered on after you follow the power up procedure, move both sticks to the upper inner corner. You will see the Aries start to blink slowly on the green LED lights, that means it's ready for calibration. I'm going to take it and focus on the nose on this plane with the feet down and rotate it 360 degrees. Then I'm going to put the nose up. Rotate it 360 degrees, expecting to end the legs back at the camera. Rotate it back to its side. Rotate it 360 degrees until the legs end back at the camera. And then I'm going to place it on the ground. The light should go off. And if it's taken its calibration, they will come on and lock in solidly. The calibration is now complete. So I know it's a bit of a complicated issue. I want to do it one more time just so that we can see it again. I'm going to take the sticks and I'm going to put them into the upper middle position. The lights will start blinking green slowly. Take it horizontally with the legs towards the ground, rotate it 360 degrees, tilt the nose up, rotate it 360 degrees. So again, I'm thinking where the legs are going to end. Put it on its side, rotate 360 degrees, trying to get the legs ending back away from me. The light should go off. I place it on the ground and they should come back on solid. Great. Now, for any reason, your green lights start blinking quickly. That means the calibration didn't take, and you have to do it again. The first couple of times you can do it, it can be a little difficult. I encourage you, don't get frustrated. Just take your time, go slowly, and really focus on where you're trying to end your 360-degree range. That's what really helped me the first time. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the smartphone application you can get on Google Play or the App Store for the Ares X10.